Do you have any grail knives? Those knives that you really want but are just a little bit unobtainable, maybe due to price. For me, probably price. Um, or they're just scarce, rare, not in production anymore. I think we all have those grail knives. Let's take a look at my top seven grail knives. My lucky number seven. Here we go. Starting it off here, the only folding knife on the list is the Benchmade Crooked River. It's got a four inch blade, S30V steel, beautiful, over $200. Next on the list, the Cold Steel Natchez Bowie. Named after Natchez, Mississippi, where Jim Bowie's famous sandbar fight was. It's been made in a few different steels over the years. Currently um, out of production, but coming back shortly in 3V steel, and it's going to be over $500. I should have picked one up in 01 when they were like 130 Next is the PLSK1 Survival Knife. Made by Blind Horse Knives, no longer around. Company split into Battle Horse and LT Wright. Uh, this was designed by Dave Canterbury for the Pathfinder School, and it's got the Pathfinder logo on it. Been out of production for several years. Um, currently, Battle Horse Knives makes a similar knife called the Highlander in uh, 01 Tool Steel, but it's just not the same as the PLS K1. Next on the list is the Bark River Shining Mountain Bowie. A giant old knife made in uh, A2 steel, I believe. It's famously seen, although rehandled, in the movie Inglorious Bastards, starring Brad Pitt. Next on the list is the Case Winkler Collaboration Skinner Knife, designed by... Um, former uh, Navy SEAL Special Forces Operator Kevin Holland and uh, made by Case in uh, collaboration with Winkler Knives and 80 CRV2 steel that Winkler uses. Also used in our next knife, the Winkler Field Knife. This is a uh, 5 and 3 quarter inch blade, uh, 3 sixteenths stock. Comes with an awesome um, sheath that's made of Kydex and leather. Um, and a few different uh, handle varieties. Next, my number one grail knife is the LT Wright um, Shaman East, made specially for Nature, nature Reliance School. Um, and the director, Craig Cottle there, designed it after the frontier long knives of the 18th century, made famous by men such as Daniel Boone and Simon Kenton and Louis Wetzel, doing uh, hunting and Indian fighting on the American frontier. What are your top grail knives?